Uh, my name is Mark Carlini. I'm the writer director of She's in Portland. And She's in Portland is a story of two best friends from college now in their 30s. Uh, feeling a bit trapped in their own lives, but admiring each other's lives from afar. Um, they take this road trip up the California coast. It's a bit of a love letter to the PCH uh, to see about the college crush, the one that got away. Um, she's asking about one of them at the college reunion. That particular person was not there at the reunion, uh, and that was his girl from college. So the best friend was there, and the best friend has a business meeting in San Francisco, so he decides to show up unannounced in Los Angeles uh, to convince his best friend for his, to take a road trip all the way up to Portland, Oregon, because that's where she lives, and that's what's revealed at the reunion. So they take this trip, uh, and it becomes she's a little more of the MacGuffin in the story, the sort of pot at the end of the rainbow, and it's really more about... Um, all the people they meet along the way. It's a bit of a transformation of transformational journey, existential journey for both these guys who essentially, you know, ultimately come to terms with where they're on their lives, where they're going, and making making their lives work for them now, embracing where they are and making it work for themselves. That's, that's well. What's that's interesting to me is it's classic thirties, yes. right? Um, and it's about the relationships you're trying to establish at that time that may or may not last. The rest of the life, the rest of your life. So, do you do they want to get together forevermore? Or this is a really interesting time in a person's life, where the key relationships that turn up right around there are either short term or possibly very long term. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, really, it is. It it, it does. It does. It does uh, attack. Uh, explore just the paths we take in life, life, and the decisions we make, and and sort of. Um, owning your choices and I guess um, in particular when dealing with relationships or commitment to relationships or career I think um, this does sort of talk about how this is a very critical time in your life where you know ultimately a lot of times it's it's, it's not as easy to, easy to turn around and go back and, and start over um, you know when you're younger and you're in your 20s you know you can try things and, and still maybe veer off and, and and move on to something else um, and yeah I think um, it, it's it's also you know it, it does deal with commitment and relationships um, uh, interpersonal relationships marriage um, um, it deals you know with all aspects of, of committing your life to, to marriage I mean really at the end of the day the, the film explores the, the idea of personal freedom against your commitments to others and well you also just said is that relationships or career yeah yeah so we're also Same looking idea. at, um, are we committing to a career? Are we committing to freedom? Are we committing to a relationship? I mean, all these things, 30-somethings have to think about. Yeah, it, it, you know, the movie has touches of romantic themes, but, um, you know, ultimately it's also dealing with, you know, responsibility in a lot of ways, and mm. adulthood. Um, yeah. Really key turning decade in a person's life, isn't it? Turning yeah, it's point really, decade. It, it really ended up being an exploration of, like, you... you not necessarily midlife crisis, but your 30s, and you're coming upon your midlife crisis, and, and you know, explores what really matters to you. you know. I think it's the official first life crisis, right. personally. Right. Then later, you know, in your mid 50s, it's the mid. Mm -hmm. We never hear about the first crisis, yeah. but it's in the 30s. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, how fun was this to direct? It was amazing. I mean, the the, the I was I had an amazing cast. Tommy Dewey is the lead. Francois Arnaud, Minka Kelly, Joel Carter, Lola Glaudini. These were just incredible, incredible actors um, that I got to work with. Uh, and you know, we got to shoot all the way along the California coast, nice. which was amazing. Yeah. Um, we shot in Santa Barbara. Shot in Isla Vista. Thank you. Uh, we shot in Big Sur. Shot in Carmel, Monterey, wow. Wow. Uh, San Francisco. So it's a beautiful film. Yes, and it did. Yes, we. You know, really. I, I, the vision for me all along was I wanted to really capture Highway 1. And from, you know, 15 years ago when I moved to L.A., I, I fell in love with the PCH. And I thought, wouldn't it be interesting one day if I could tell a whole story that took place all along Highway 1, as if it was like an inside look into part of the world most people don't get to see and um, make it another character in the movie. So we were fortunate enough to be able to do that with a small crew, uh, you know, just a traveling road show of a, of a crew. We had traveling 15, road show, that's 15, great. 15, 20 people. Um, um, 
that sort of traveled up the coast, stayed in hotels, um, sometimes camped out at campsites. Oh, that's great. Yeah, we really just used these big locations with a small crew and tried to get as much production value as possible for as little as possible. So you had this vision 15 years ago. I mean, just the idea of like, you know, when I was in Doing school, when story. I was in school and I, and I, gr I grew up kind of uh, inspired by the buddy films and my, oh. I have two brothers and um, a lot of the films that I did in film school were buddy films and I figured if I was ever going to make a feature film one day, I'd kind of stick with that lane. Sure. And um, I just, um, I knew that um, Highway 1 was something that really inspired me when I first moved out here and I thought maybe one day I could, I could, uh, I could do it. You, know? you did it. Thank you. And it's showing where and what time? So yeah, it's showing uh, at the Metro Theater, Metroplex 4, uh, Theater 2, at 8.20 p.m. Friday night. Excellent. Night. Wow, that's a good time slot. All right, congratulations. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you. Appreciate it.